got the job done, baby. Yeah, we did it. Okay, the first drive today, it was completely horrible. We were giving up running yards left and right. But I told a story here that this is the same old Cardinals. And I mean, disappointed defensively. Yeah, this is going to be a long day or whatnot. But they're down in five. We stopped these guys short of the goal line. Third and five slant. You get a nice deflection. We force a field goal. And guess what? The momentum the rest of the way went the Arizona Cardinals way. Alan Murray and company got enough first downs to be able to extend drives to get us over 20 points this game. We got the job done defensively. We did enough in the secondary to stop the Cincinnati Bengals. They were apples wide receiver-wise. They were not getting open. It was really easy. The, the Bengals' offensive line was horrible. The pass rush got the job done. They were not posting sacks, but they got the pressure, and our secondary is doing enough to not be able to allow open passing lanes. And the Bengals are an awful team. We handled that Mickey Mouse team right as a big team to do. We need to pummel them and bury them into submission. We did that with the Bengals. They're the worst team in the league. We handled them. We completely owned them. Bill Bidwell passed away. We won for Bill Bidwell. We got the job done. Well, you know what? We're only going to get better right now with Callum Murray and Cliff Kingsbury. We need to fix the red zone offense. We need to get it done. We need to score sevens instead of threes. St. Gonzalez, two field goals, a missed field goal. We need touchdowns instead of field goals. We need to do better. We're not doing enough. It's a hapless bungles. That's all they are. They're absolute shit. Absolutely, we handled expectations just fine today. But we are not doing enough offensively to get points on the board. We have a lot of room for improvement. The defense has confidence. And guess what? You know what's even better when we have confidence is, is that we go up against the one and four Atlanta Falcons. They're one and four. Dan Quinn has got amongst the highest odds to be the first coach fired this NFL season. It's still soon to be seen to be seen if Jay Gooden's gonna be the first coach to be fired this year. Second on that list is Dan Quinn. He's gonna be one of the first coaches to be fired this year. Defensively, he's doing fine, but the Falcons are not scoring points. That's gonna help with our secondary. We did enough for Andy Dalton this game. We're at home the next game against the Falcons. They're one and four. We got to fire Dan Quinn. Terrible defense. We're going to score points like it's Swiss cheese. We should with Larry Fitzgerald. We're going to be two and three and one. And guess what? We got the backup quarterback. We got the rookie, Daniel Jones. We should be three and three. We're getting used to the playbook. We're getting confidence defensively. This was a great win today for what's going to hold for us in the next couple of weeks. We're going to mold into a tough contender, and Vance Joseph needs to put some more right now. Calamore needs to handle third down much better than he's done today, and his wide receivers let go some plays. They need to recognize the back shoulder, back shoulder fade. Some of these throws are not on Calamore today. These wide receivers need to hold on to the football on that back shoulder fade. He was doing a great job today. These wide receivers need to be more in sync, and then we can solve our red zone offense. The Falcons firing Dan Quinn, being really horrible, allowing 53 fantasy points to Dan Quinn. And the rookie quarterback on the Giants, we need to be 3-3-1. Three and three and one. We need to be back in the contention. We need to get us ready to be in contention for next year. We got the job done today. Let's go Big Red. Let's continue it on, and let's fire Dan Quinn. Here we go. Go Cardinals.